Tiur anoid fel demarall. A dyn a strong a bwrdd i chi. A gfel as i ffyrs. Mae'r calon yn hedfan dyr y ti. Such poetry. Oh dear. You make me cry, my love. Let us head for Evan Gillen, Trebowid and beyond. I offer you this ring. And take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I gwisk of a Valkalon adoration a fee than bith. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. I'm surprised you did not serenade the bride and groom with a verse or two. Oh, I wished to, I did. But all that came to me were insults and jibes. Another time, I think. It is a strange feeling, brother. Weddings are the beginning of something, but this feels like something of an end. The first happy union in our home. We have matured into something greater. So yes, a beginning and an end, I think. Gunner, you old trout. You're a married man. I never thought I would see the day. Nor did I. And not for lack of trying. Richard, I gift you a formal welcome to our clan and our family. You are a fine addition to Gunnar's life and to ours. Dear Chevior, I couldn't be more happy to Boma. Hope you never see worse in the case me sure that years. Yes, of course. I, uh, as I say, it is wonderful to have you. marriage customs in your country, Hytham. Something like this? Like this in all the most important ways. There are smiles, cheers, and warm embraces. All that is needed, I think. Randvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunnar so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now. 
in all that you have done for us. And V, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so, but my heart is yours. That much he knows. And I believe he is happy for us. Are you sure? Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more. Something only he can find. All he wants is far, far away. All I need is right here. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of her since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go. Volka, I want to thank you for all you've done for me. My visions have lessened of late, and I... Well, I find it hard to explain how different I feel. Grounded. Unified. At peace. That is good to hear, Eivor. Very good to hear. been among us for quite some time, Redder. Are you ready to settle? Make a home here? For a year or two, perhaps. But I am not the settling kind. I am a wanderer. Always searching, never finding. Maybe one day.
painful. Tarbin. Such a joy to see you, Eivor. Apologies, but I must go. I only wanted to say a quick greeting. Eivor, I am still with you, drifting at the edge of your memory. You have tamed the Odin within you, but I have not disappeared. I am with you always, embedded within your Huga. Will you keep me in the dark until your end, resisting forever this side of yourself? What could you learn from me? ...to better understand the world that was. The world I left behind... ...but not here. Not inside of those who would not understand what you are. Who we are. Have you not done all you can for your people? Say your goodbyes... ...and set forth for distant shores... ...and new adventures. Fascinating. Eivor grapples with Odin's memories in a way unfamiliar to me. My own struggle with Loki was intense but brief, ending with a... ...a mutual understanding of who we were. Where will this new conflict take you, I wonder? This calls for a bit of animus magic, I think. Searching for future memories filtered by emotional intensity. Grief, longing, sadness. Here we are, a few images from the future. Let's see where Aver leads us.
Westminster Cathedral. Aver's memory fragment is somewhere nearby. Have a look soon in there. Right place, wrong time. Lord King! Ah, Eivor. You are welcome here. How does it feel to be home? Not as free of care as you might imagine. It has been many years since I reclaimed my throne. But I have never taken it for granted. Not since my time in the marshes. Since then, I have been busy. Guthrum and I are inching towards common ground. A treaty is forthcoming. Is that why you have summoned me? To find common ground? I hope to. You are one of the great lords of Mercia. And calling you a friend would be a benefit to all England. What say you to a treaty, Eivor? Naming you lord of all lands northeast of your settlement. In exchange for what? Your allegiance. Not to me, but to Christ. And to the order I have convened in his name. I honor your offer, Lord. And the trust you place in me. So here is my answer. You gave me this years ago. A beautiful piece. But it sits heavier in my pocket than on my heart. You refuse, then? Have no fear. This is not a new chapter in our conflict. I am leaving these lands for distant shores. You will have no more trouble from me. In search of new wars? Fresh lands to conquer? In search of myself. Ah. The most difficult destination on Earth. I wish you well, then. God be with you.
on your journey. I'm a bit full up with guards at the moment. Yours may have to take another boat. You have not left the church in days. The stench offense even God knows. I have been looking at this scripture for hours. God is giving me a sign. If only I could see it. See his light. A sign? God in heaven, give him a sign. Set him on his true path, far away from me. Yes. Illuminate me, O oh Lord. Illuminate me. What troubles you? God will speak to me. I know it. He will show me my true path. God's light will show him his path. Maybe I can illuminate the lectern somehow to seize his prattling. I must follow his beacon. Send me a sign, O Lord. Illuminate my true path. For you are the shepherd and I am the lamb who follows your lamb. Your meaning is unclear, Please, there must be some other purpose for my life. You are the light of the world. So do these rays mean something? <laughs> Send me a sign, O oh Lord. Illuminate my true path. For you are the shepherd, and I am the lamb who follows your lamb. Your meaning is I should be cautious around here. Show me.
This ship matches the memory fragment. I'm close. He faces the rising sun. Good. So, the rumors are true. The great conqueror has been conquered himself. <laughs> Eivor! How many summers has it been? <laughs> Far too many, friend. Something amuses you. I hardly recognize you. Is this the Guthrum I left behind, or some other gentler man? <laughs> The Guthrum you knew is indeed no more. Athelstan, I am now called. My Christian name. Christian name? A new name for a new life. At the expense of all you gained. Ah, uh, I have not lost as much as you might think. King Alfred and I have forged a lasting peace, in fact. He has taken Western Mercia. East Anglia is mine. We are now discussing the fates of East Mercia and the North. <laughs> the Danes, Eivor, are here to stay. With Christ as their Jarl. He is a powerful god. Within his sacrifice hides the greatest boons. Forgiveness, hope, love. Would you not consider hearing his message for yourself? I have no time to meet new gods. I'm leaving England, and I've only come here to say my goodbyes. Will you return to your father's land? Elsewhere. To unmapped places, in search of the unknown. Ah, an adventure worthy of Odin. You and he share a love for knowledge and discovery I have noticed. Share is not strong enough a word. <laughs> come then. We must drink and tell stories before you go. If they are to be our last, they must be our best. <laughs>
Eivor, and it could never have gone so well without you. Truly, Gunnar. It was my pleasure. May I see your stores? You have a keen eye for quality. This will serve you well. Sounds pretty good. You like the looks of that one? You have a keen eye for quality. You are looking powerful. I'm off. Be well, friend. Hytham's Bureau. Another memory fragment here.
Let's move this timeline. Eivor, have you given my offer some greater thought? No, Hytham, I have not. Then I will ask again tomorrow. <sighs> How does a heart so large hide in such a modest man? I don't follow. To work so tirelessly for strangers, fighting not for yourself, not for your people, but for all the world. That takes compassion of a size I have never known or seen in others. Ah. <laughs> I thank you. Do you not worry about your own family? Or your clan back home? How did you come to be so ruthless? I do have a clan, as you call it, but no family. I was orphaned quite young. It may be this lack that drove me to join the Hidden Ones. They have certainly treated me as a son. I too lost my family. But I gained another, this Raven Clan. I owe them my life, and I would give them mine. I feel the same gratitude, but on a larger scale. You see, anyone can join the Hidden Ones, and therefore everyone is worthy of our love. I admire your cause, Hytham. But I do not have the focus needed to carry forth your creed. My mind is often divided between the present and the distant past. And it will take some time to understand why. Ah! Is it time? Uh, forgive me, Eivor. We keep our training to a strict schedule. Of course. Carry on. And good luck with this lot. They are wild crew. <laughs> Greetings, Eivor.
dynamics are... Survey the area, Sunan. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Kingment here. I'm getting Spinning forward just a bit. Young Harold has made quite a name for himself in our time away. Twelve or thirteen years, I think. Sigurd! Eivor! You are welcome here. Come! I got word that you would visit, but I <laughs> did not expect you so soon. Stout men huddled around a map with eyes as hungry as their bellies. Little has changed, eh? Yes. I've spent half my life worrying over hastily drawn maps. But this is not a land we mean to conquer. It is a land in need of aid. Iceland? Yes. Our friend Ingolver sends word that his new settlement is in peril. Cold winters and simmering blood feud. I have agreed to send supplies and men. Enough to bring peace and ride out the winter. Eivor, it may be your coming here at this time to this place. It's a blessing from Thor himself. Which you and your brother lead this expedition for me. I cannot think of a better pairing to see this through. Eivor, this is faded. I long for such an adventure. Tell me your mind. Does your heart fire burn for another expedition? I'm grateful for the offer, but I have not come here to walk down well-worn roads. I'm here to say farewell, for once and all. For once and all? Are you leaving England as well? I am. Sailing west, accompanied only by myself, to a land found on no map. For what need? I will discover that only when I arrive. But that is tomorrow. Today I would like to spend time in the company of those I love. And tell stories from long ago. <laughs> Beginning when? Long, long ago. You understand? Uncle, clear the room and bring mead and roasted minkval for three. Where to begin?
it's close. Very close. <laughs> <laughs>